Right, so as you've heard, we've had no preparation, we've had no practice, we're just going to come out and just do our thing, and that's, that's exactly what we're all about, we're doing our own thing, nobody's changing anything about us, we don't want any speaking coaches, we don't want anything, and that's, that's not towards anyone else, that's because we want to just be ourselves, and that's our story. So I'm going to go through a few experiences that we've had. It might get a bit emotional for me up here, to be honest, because I have to dig deep, well, I'm thinking about it now, so... I have to dig deep into my soul to explain how we, we've got to where we are. So, we went through a very traumatic experience as a family. Um, Daisy had a double, up, uh, double amputation, um, and that was caused through a birth defect. So, you can imagine the stress, the trauma, um, the operations that she went through. It was terrible. Um, the operations didn't even go well. So, it affected everyone, but it affected me personally. It gave me an alcohol problem, and it gave me a gambling problem. Um, and I'm talking like a serious gambling problem, thousands of pounds. It's, it wasn't good. Um, but as the years have rolled by, I'm watching this little girl, to be honest, her fight for life is ridiculous. The things you see her do, if you just follow her on Instagram, the things you see, she does things that grown men can't do. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And me watching that, watching her fight, what am I whinging about? What am I sitting there having a drink? What am I sitting there gambling for? You know what? I'm going to get myself out of that house, and I'm going to get myself into a gym. I'm going to start training. So now, what happens now? We train together, and it's all because of her and her fight. It inspired me to do better, and that's what it all comes down to. But the next stage of our life happened when, on the TV, and people might doubt it, people might not. I believe, touched by God, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Something happened, something come on the TV, I had a day off from work, and what happened was, disabled modelling agency. Now I thought, hang on a minute, I'll put this idea to Daisy. So as she came home, do you want to be a model, Daisy? She says, yes. I, I said, let's do it. Let's, let, let's go out there and be the best we can, and that's, that's exactly what we're all about. We're, we're, we're going to do it, and we're going to do it the best. And I promised her that we're going to get to the stage where we are now, modelling for big high street band, brands. And we're there. We're there already within six months. Now, people doubted me. People turned around to me and said, nah, that's not going to happen. That's not, you can't do that. It's impossible. We're there. We're there. And that's through pure belief. I didn't doubt it. I said where we are. Even this talk today, me standing here, I predicted this six months ago. I'm not a professional talker. I don't talk. I don't go out talking about my life. But I predicted this would be part of it and what we're going to be doing. So we're here today. And now, it started to spread around the world. You type in her name, Argentina, Brazil, Japan, Spain. The list goes on. And that's pure belief. Now people are believing. Now people are coming back to me saying, OK, I believe, I believe. But we're not finished yet. We're not finished. So they can keep non-believing what I'm saying, but wisdom is still carrying on. And Daisy wants to say a couple of words. I know it's a bit hard in front of all these people. I mean, it's hard for me, so I can imagine it's going to be hard for her. So you say, say your little piece, girl. Wow. I am loving modelling right now because I get to meet new people and travel around and also get to show what's possible if you try. Excellent. Excellent. That was difficult. That was difficult. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's good. That's good. And, that, and that, that makes me very proud that she, cause she's got the confidence to even stand up here in front of all you people. I mean, it's, as I say, it's very difficult for me to do it, but for her to do it, well done, Daisy. And obviously, going forward for us, it's, it's not just about us. It's not even about modelling. It's not about us. It's about everyone, really. And, and, and that's the biggest point. Anyone, if I can do it, I work a little, normal hands-on job. Down at the bottom, down at the bottom, I'm there grafting away with my, my hands. But if I can do it and take it to this level where we are, that means anyone in this room can do that. Don't doubt yourselves, believe me. If she turned around to me and says, I want to be an astronaut, you know what? Everyone would laugh. Some might believe, not many, but I believe, because I'd go out there and make it happen for her, and that's what I'm all about, and that's what she's all about, because if you believe your dreams, you can actually do them, you can achieve them. And it's the people with no ideas, no, no dreams, no visions, and these are the people the first to stop you from doing it. So everyone in this room can look around and turn around to yourselves and say, hang on a minute, I've got a dream, I've got a vision, and I'm going to follow it, and I'm going to do the best I can, and I'm going to do it, regardless of what anyone tells you, regardless of the people who want to stop you. That's what it's all about, and that's what you've got to do. You've got to follow your dreams. And at the end of the day, what this comes down to, 
who am I to turn around to this little girl who's got no legs? And that's what it comes down to. You can't do this. You can't do that. That's not my place to say that. It's not for anyone in here to say that to her. And it goes to everybody again. You all do what you want to do, and that is what you've got to do. Believe in yourself. There's nothing going to change anyone. You do what, exactly what you want to do. Don't let anybody stop you. My original statements, going all the way back. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. For me, when I started out with her, I turned around to her and said, she will be the most famous, inspirational, double amputee to have walked this earth. Now for me, I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to stick to that. Yeah, 100% going to stick to that. That's what's going to happen. But it's not about money. It's not about fame. It's not about fortune. Nothing, none of that. Nothing to do with that. What it is, it's about helping people. She was placed with me by God or some other force, whatever you want to call it, to come along and take over and do this and help people. Because I've seen the, the influence she has on double amputees, not just double amputees, normal people. You watch a video of her, people smile. Now, that's what, 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 that changes people's days. And that's what is, this is all about. It's about changing people's days. And it's her that's doing it all. And at the end of the day, I'm going to make a promise right here on this stage that I'm going to put you in that position regardless. And I ain't one to break promises. I don't break promises to my children. So mark my words to, on this stage right here, right now. Mark my words. When you watch her, 10 years from now, in that position, inspiring people, just remember, I told you. I think Daisy wants to say one more thing. Thank you for listening to our story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.